Welcome everyone and thank you for coming to the opening of this exhibition. Uh, although on a kind of a short notice, but uh, I'm glad to see uh, many friends. Uh, it feels like actually among the family uh, here. Uh, so I'm not going to give a speech or lecture. I uh, just would like uh, to say a few words. Uh, first of all, thanking Pastor Gage for uh, hosting us and opening the church for this exhibition uh, that is under the title Room for Hope. For us in Bethlehem, uh, culture is a very important component of our ministry. We believe culture is a very important tool for uh, transformation. Uh, Palestine is actually very important when it comes to art and images. Uh, remember, in the New Testament, Jesus is called the image of God. It was Palestine that gave God a face, if you want. And it was also Palestine in the 8th century when uh, people wanted to destroy all the icons that were made that actually they rescued many of these icons, mainly in the Bethlehem area. Many of them were rescued in the Marsaba Monastery and in the desert in St. Catherine Monastery. And so this is how actually lots of the divine images were saved uh, uh, vandalism of that early years. But the third important uh, reason why for us culture is important because unfortunately, uh, often in the West when people think of Palestinians, they don't necessarily think of artists, but of many other images that come to mind. We want to make sure that the image of the Palestinians is restored in the imagination and minds of people in this country and throughout. And this is why for us it's very important to offer space, not only for hope, but to offer also space for creativity and space for young artists uh, to exhibit their uh, pieces, not only in Palestine, but worldwide. In fact, par, par, uh, back in Palestine, at our center, we have the largest exhibition area in Palestine. And this project is the first time, it's like a pilot project. We thought it would be interesting to have a Palestinian art festival in the United States. And we did that, we launched that uh, two months ago in Minneapolis. Uh, we had o not only an art exhibition with 39 pieces, these are like the remaining 13, uh, but also we had our dance and theater group performing. We had a uh, film uh, festival with uh, 13 films uh, produced by our students, uh, uh, screened. Uh, we have uh, famous Palestinian musicians uh, giving concerts. So it was like art and ideas in New Haven, but on a smaller scale, at the end of the day, we got around 10,000 people, which is a huge success, especially knowing that 90, 90 plus percent of those 10,000 had maybe previously not much to do with Palestine. That was the first, their first introduction to Palestine. And if you would invite these 10,000 people to come to a political lecture about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, none of them will come. <laughs> and so that was really a very important tool to reach out to a new crowd, to those who are not yet converted, and to try really to give them the image of Palestine without the orientalistic packaging that has been done uh, throughout the centuries. But if you look around these pieces, and I encourage you later uh, just to have a look, you will see very different uh, artwork. 
Uh, some, of the, some of them are very distinguished uh, artists, uh, like Sliman Mansour, that painting. Uh, he is one of the, I would say, top three Palestinian artists uh, right now in Palestine. But the nice thing actually with this painting, for example, is that uh, Sliman Mansour, this Palestinian in Christian artist, uh, he went to school in Bethlehem, to the same school I went to. And when he was 12, at that time, we had a German teacher for art. His name was Thais. And Thais was really a great teacher of art. And he discovered the gift and talent of this young teenager, 12 years old, called Sleman. And nurtured him. With 13, he pushed him to participate in the first international exhibition. It was for young people, but he won at that exhibition the third prize. And actually, this is when and where his career started. For us, uh, he's a very important figure, even for our ministry, because uh, we have a program uh, called DR uh, Children and Youth Academy, where the aim of this academy is to discover the talent, the gift of children and young people in Palestine, but then to nurture this gift through many years, and then to give them space to breathe, space to exhibit, space to perform. And uh, this is really the transforming power of, uh, of this ministry. Uh, others uh, are actually uh, like a former student, he actually, uh, this young man, uh, Iyad there, he came out of this DR Children Academy. He is from the uh, uh, biggest refugee camp in Bethlehem. Uh, he came when he was also a teenager to our center, and uh, uh, there, his gift was discovered. Now he is in Paris doing art, and this is why the prices are Parisian prices, <laughs> not Palestinian prices. But this is how it is. I mean, this is uh, uh, how things uh, is. Uh, you will see that you have paintings of Palestinian Christians, of Palestinian Muslims. You have uh, women. Um, uh, from Jerusalem. So it's really uh, this art uh, also represent the plurality, the plural voices, the many voices, the diverse voices. Uh, and in that sense also they form like a mosaic of what life in Palestine is.